guys, there's a lot of people, guys, there's a lot of people who have a condition called keratoconus, okay? That means the cornea is like a cone. And a lot of people say there's nothing you can do about it, your cornea is too thin. I hear that every day, that my cornea was, I was told is too thin and I can't wear glasses. I think you were told the same thing, no? So and they don't do anything, they think they're condemned to a life of glasses and contact lenses and RGP contact lenses. That is not true. So what we do is we do a procedure called Intax where we implant these two rings inside the cornea. This is just the air bubble from the contact lens that's a bandage. But if you look here, you will see that this is actually, let me get it. So you see there's two rings inside the cornea, right? So by implanting these two rings, what we do is we flatten the cornea. So instead of being like a cone, that's why they call it keratoconus, it becomes nice and smooth. It's like pushing, putting a push-up bra in the cornea. And people just come and say, oh my God, I see everything. And we don't put the additional risk of getting them to do LASIK. This nice lady has been waiting 20 years to get out of glasses, she said. And in a procedure, it took what, 15 minutes, 10 minutes? We got her out of glasses for the rest of her life, I guarantee it. Look how soon I Did you have any pain? Look, yeah, nothing, right? She was so nervous, we had to give her two Xanax, but I think we had to give her husband two Xanax instead of her. The husband was more nervous than she was. And uh, the recovery is almost immediate. For the first few hours, you're gonna feel there's something in your eye, and that's why we put a bandage contact lens to kind of, it's like a, for protection. By tomorrow, by Monday, I'll remove that for you. And really that's it. And for the rest of her life, she won't need anything. It's really an incredible thing. You have keratoconus, and this happens in one out of every 2,000 individuals. And uh, we think that it's actually even more common. It's just that it's not reported as often. But don't listen to anyone who says your cornea is too thin. That's BS, and there's a lot of treatments for it. Congratulations.